guys, so uh, after the maiden flight didn't go so well, uh, the front overheated. I 3D printed uh, these cowlings to go in the uh, engine here. So I'm gonna show you guys the process of uh, building these cowlings. So the first thing I did was just sketch a design on a piece of paper. So there's the engine in the middle there. There's the kind of the airflow I'm looking at. And then the uh, be three channels. Basically the first one will go right there in that first hole. Second one will kind of cool the main body. And then the last portion of it will just go right by it and cool the ESC. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, just a CAD drawing software and uh, build a couple of designs. It's a pretty hard shape to get on the first try. So I'm gonna build a couple prototypes and use a Dremel tool to trim them down and then edit it on the files. So here's my first attempt, uh, throw it into Cura to cut it and then I'll uh, upload on my printer and uh, print it. Uh, I needed to adjust the settings a little bit, but it was just good enough for the first design. Uh, I used a Dremel tool and trim up a couple of the pieces, and then I went back into my CAD drawing software and cut up all the pieces that I already that I cut with the Dremel tool. And then I'll throw it back in and uh, print that out again. Uh, this one's a lot closer to what I was looking for, but still needs a little bit of editing. Uh, I smoothed out the bottom part here to fit uh, a little bit better. And then I printed that out, and that one was pretty close. Uh, I got to fit in there, except for there's a gap on the bottom and on the top of the engine there. So I wanted to add a little bit more to that piece, so that way it would channel as much air as I could to the engine. So here's the uh, final piece, and then I'll just go ahead and mirror that image. And then there's both cowlings, and the engine just fits right in between there. Throw back in Kira settings, and uh, print out the last final pieces. About a 30 minute print and you just put them in place they fit in from the back and then uh, just use a little bit of ca glue and glue those in place make sure there's a gap between the motor and the vents Yeah, it actually seemed like it worked okay. It doesn't seem as warm as it usually is. I didn't bring my gun today to check the temperature, but it feels a lot cooler than it used to. I flew it three more times after this and uh, kept checking the temperature of the motor and it was still cool to the touch, so I'd say this is a successful build. Hey guys, thanks for watching my videos on this uh, 152. This will be my uh, last video. I'm gonna upload one more after this one just to uh, do a condensed version of the entire build uh, to kind of bring all the videos into one video. Uh, but this will be the last uh, video of preparing it and uh, of all this stuff and then I'll have some more content out for you guys. So thanks guys for watching and I uh, will see you guys in the next one.